guys, it's Arlene. I'm here today to share the steampunk debutante altered box that I created as well as the mini album. Um, I hope you enjoyed the previous video that I put out that showed how I made the box. I didn't do the whole process with the mini album because it got a little too long. So I'm going to go ahead and talk through that with you. But here's the box. Let me go ahead and start off with the box. So the box looked like this to start, and I think you guys all saw that from the video. It's basically one of those uh, paper mache boxes that I got at a treasurenest.com, and then it has a uh, place to insert a photo. And um, anyways, so I altered this box. That's what it looked like before. So here it is, and I cut out all of the little different images from the Graphic 45 Steampunk debutante collection, paper collection, and I mod podge them to protect them because they're on the cover and you know over time I, I don't want them to wither away. All of the gears that I used on the box as well as on the mini album are by Seven Gypsies and they work perfectly with the steampunk papers. And here, here's what they look like. And you can pick these up at bluemoonscrapbooking.com. This one here has the gems and this one is just the industrial gears, but really cool. It has a little groove um, in it so you can insert a bling yourself if you want to bling it up. And um, also on the cover I have some Prima bling. Um, I have a little flower button here, vintage looking flower button. And then I have a stick pin that I got from Kathy. Hey Kathy, she's Canadian Scrapper Girl on YouTube. And then all of the flowers that I used on the box as well as in the mini album are by IamRoses.com. And here's the lace, uh, some of the lace that I picked up from a treasure nest. Dot com and it just goes all the way around and thanks Dira for the idea of using the um, the hinges die the alterations die from I think it's called uh, what is it called hardware findings I can't remember I can't I forget what it's called but anyways um, I'll put it on the screen I used the keyhole so who would have thought you could use a keyhole for hinges but it worked so um, and on the video I show you guys exactly how I did that and then I have the little um, little balls on the bottom that I used for feet. Oops, there's like, I have like spider glue like all over the place, so I have to really wipe this thing down. It's kind of crazy. I did a lot of antiquing on on some of the metal embellishments as well as here on the wood, and the antiquing that I used, and many of you are familiar with this, but those who aren't, is called Antique Gold Rub and Buff, and you can find this stuff at the adhesive section at Michael's in the same aisle, and it's basically like an antiquing paint. Okay, this knob here is Seven Gypsies knob. I picked this up at Blue Moon Scrapbooking a while back. I've had it in my stash for quite some time and thought it would go well. And I did antique this with the um, rub and buff that I just showed you guys. Okay, so this is the inside of the box. And if you see the latches there, how they kind of open. Um, I used the paper collection to line. I basically used my golden soft um, gel mat to mod podge it down. I distressed it obviously first with Glimmer Mist and, and some... Uh, distress and boss uh, distressing but let me see if I can pull this down but here's the cutout that I adhered down from the paper collection and then I also put some gears some prima bling as well as a philosophy tag that says altered um, by Tim Holtz and the mini album got so super thick you guys it doesn't even fit in the box <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do it fits perfectly in the box but as you can see it's too thick so it doesn't close all the way. So I'll figure something out. I don't, I, there's, it's, an, it's virtually impossible for me to make a thin mini, you guys. I'm serious. I, I always start off with the box and make the mini, and turns out the mini can never fit. So let me just kind of set this aside. And let me go ahead and show you guys the mini album. So I used lightweight chipboard for the mini album because I was trying to keep it thin, but it didn't work out. And I adhered the paper down and first with my Scotch quick dry adhesive. I love this stuff. And if you see my videos, you'll see that I always use this on um, adhering paper down to chipboard because it just works well. Um, and then I used my, um, I believe this is, I can't remember the name of it, but it's one of the um, On the Edge dies by Tim Holtz, the alteration dies. And that's how I got the... Um, ornate edge on the pages. Uh, I used my cinch to bind it. I love my cinch. For those of you, I've, I've received some comments about um, cinch versus bind it all. I have the bind it all. 
Um, for those of you who don't like busting out with instructions every time you use it, the cinch is for you. So I love the cinch. Um, every time I need to do some type of ring binding like this, I don't even bust out my bind at all anymore. I just get my cinch. So easy. Um, so here are some of the um, flower stretchable trim that I've been showing on my videos from a treasurenest.com. I love this, this uh, ribbon. Um, I got it in a lighter color, a light tan color, as well as black, and it's just gorgeous. I love it, and it has like all the fiber, so you don't even need to put fiber on the on the edge of your mini album because it just it gives you that fiber look already. On here, I use the Tim Holtz um, ball and chain, and on there I put one of the uh, keys from the Tim Holtz ideology line, as well as some of the gears from the sprockets and gears um, set from the ideology line. And then this little charm here is from Industrial Chic. I picked it up at Michael's. I'm probably going to add another little charm under here because there's another hook. So I always play around with stuff later, even though it looks finished, but, you know, I always um, fool around and add stuff. Like, for example, on this box, you'll notice that on my video, as well as on the pictures on my blog, I don't have butterflies on them. These butterflies I actually added after. So I always end up doing that. Um, under here, I have some Webster's Pages uh, lace. And then I have some Prima Bling, and then a cutout from the Steampunk Debutante paper collection, the little Graphic 45 tag I added on there, and then more of the industrial gears from Seven Gypsies over here. Okay, and then all of the pages are edged with the um, Espresso Dauber, es Espresso Dauber uh, by Adirondack. Okay, and then on the inside, um, these flowers here, um, you'll see that I altered them on the video that I put out, and these are from I Am Roses, and it comes in like a set of like 100, you know, about like 250 or 500, I don't know, and it's only like 5 bucks or something, I can't remember, but it was like ridiculously cheap, so compared to buying those smaller packs. So all of the tags are from the paper collection. I matted the backs so I could use them for journaling. On some of them I um, stamped, some of them I didn't, I just kept it kind of simple. Over here, this is a Maya Road dress form, and this is from the little sew chipboard set that you can get. And then some Prima Bling, one of the little cutouts from the Steampunk collection. This little mini rose is from Mary over at Odonata Creations. Hey, Mary! And then here are some of the um, skeleton flowers from I Am Roses. Basically what I did is I took it and I folded it. And then here's some more Prima Bling. And then this is one of the Graphic 45 um, tag envelopes from the Staples collection, and I just created a little tag inside, and I used a gear stand, it just goes like that, and it tucks in behind the little dress form like that. And then over here, this is the um, Flourish from the Tim Holtz Alteration die, and I distressed it with, um, what's that called? With Espresso Color Wash by Ranger, and then I also did some tattered leather glimmer mist to give it a little bit of a glitter. And I did that on grunge board. It's cut out on grunge board. I am Roses Flowers, little aluminum rose, another, um, this one actually here is from the Tim Holtz ideology line, the little sprocket. And then I have more I am Roses skeleton leaves. And then behind, I didn't adhere it all the way down so I can use it to hold the tags. And these tags are from Seven Gypsies, little happiness card. I think this one here is from Maya Road. I can't remember now. And then from the paper collection. Okay. And then over here, this is a little um, little envelope with a little pocket, um, a little like library type card that I could do some journaling on. And then I have one of the cutouts from the Steampunk paper collection and then some Prima. Actually, these are Prima, so these aren't I Am Roses. These are Prima Buds. And then I distressed them with the Walnut Stain Distress Ink. And then I have a little Tim Holtz memo, um, memo pin. I don't know. No, that's not called a memo pin. Trinket pin, sorry and then some of the leaves from I Am Roses, and then I have a little journaling spot back here. And then I can also uh, insert some photos back there if I wanted to. And then photos can actually go back there as well. And then over here, this is more of the trim. Um, and this actually I got from um, Hobby Lobby via Cindy over at Cindy SMS. And then these are uh, I Am Roses flowers, some findings, a bead, and some Prima bling. And then over here, this is just one of those foldouts where I can do some journaling and um, put some pictures. Okay, and it just inserts back like that. And then over here, I think this is a Maya Road um, journal card, 
and then this is from the uh, paper collection, the Graphic 45 paper collection, from the paper collection, Seven Gypsies, um, Bling, and then more tags from the paper collection. And then these flowers here, um, it's really cool because what I do with my Glimmer Mist, whenever I want to match a project, I bust out with my project swatches. And every time I get a new color of Glimmer Mist, I make a little swatch. And basically what I did is I laid it against the paper to see what matches, and it matched pretty good. Um, so I got the um, Frozen Lake, and then I think this one was the Tiger Lily um, Glimmer Mist. And then this just comes out, and it's just a journaling spot. And then over here, I have a little button. Oh, and I forgot to mention that, the button over here. This is from the Graphic 45 Staple Collection. It's got the little buttons, and this is the buttons, and then this is the um, little gear from the Seven Gypsies set. And then I put some bling in there. And then this is from the Tim Holtz um, Game of Life stamp set. Just a little bingo card. And then there's just journaling. I had a journaling um, stamp and some of the some more of the sprocket and gears. And then this is one of those seven gypsies uh, journaling spots. And over here, um, this is from the paper collection. I didn't adhere her down all the way, only at the bottom, so I can put this there, this little journaling spot. And this is some Webster's Pages trim, and then some of the um, beaded trim from atreasurenest.com, and then I have some lace down there. And then again, here's some of the beads, same as this, same of the, bead, the beads from atreasurenest.com. And I just used my glue gun. I had an oval cut out from one of the frames, from the, one of the Sizzix frames that I had. I think it was this one here, right here. I just took the inside, and then what I did is I had painted it with the espresso um, dauber paint, and then I took my Moon Shadow Mist, and I, I don't have the color on here, I think I put it back, but I took my Moon Shadow Mist in, and I'll put the color down there, sorry, I don't have it, I thought it was here on my desk, but I took the Moon Shadow Mist by Lindy Stamp Gang, and it gave it this really, really nice sheen, I love it. And you can still see the espresso color behind it. And then here's some I Am Roses flowers, and um, these are the hydrangeas back here that I Glimmer Mist in, in red in burnt red, or brick, sorry, brick glimmer mist. And then on the top, I used the sand glimmer mist. I just love the way that came out. And then here's one of those rose buttons that you can get at Michael's and one of those little um, favorite findings button sets. And then I have a um, Jenny Bolin stick pin up here. And then I have a little philosophy tag by Tim Holtz and says cherish. So that's it, and I haven't put my information on the back yet. But that's the mini album that came out super thick, so it doesn't fit in the box. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyways, that's it, guys. Um, for detailed pictures of this project, check out my blog, and I will have that at the tail end of this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.